So it's Easter Monday and I am up quite early. I really don't have to be. But it's a bit of a habit, I guess, and I was just on my way to take the cover off the potato peels when I saw this on the screen of my phone. But first, let me welcome you or welcome you back to the Toxandria Homestead channel, where our goal is to set up an urban homestead in the middle of the city on less than a quarter acre of dirt. Yes, you heard that correct not soil, but just plain dirt, and become as self-sustainable as an urban homestead can become on this very limited space. We're including everything from growing herbs, fruits and vegetables, both indoors and outdoors, as well as in a greenhouse, to breeding chickens, rabbits, worms, you name it, all for a steady egg, meat, protein and pelt supply. On top of that, we try to incorporate a biodynamic way of gardening as well as the Korean natural farming method, but also a plain and simple compost and rainwater approach, just to find out which one of these methods will prove best in the long run. Along the way, we share everything with you, the good, the bad, the ugly and the really ugly, so you can learn and grow together with us and we both can reap the benefits of this adventure. So if all of this sounds like a journey that you want to be a part of, what are you waiting for? Just hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you will be notified every time we upload a new video. Just a small note here. Although our uploading schedule might not be on set times, but rather as it fits into our lives, this is real life, you see, not a pre-scripted soap opera. We do want to make up for this small inconvenience by being present for you down below in the comment section for about roughly an hour every time we publish a new video. We're looking forward to meeting you there right after this video. So I am out here and I really don't know what to do now because when I look on my screen it tells that the temperature at this very moment is 5 degrees Celsius but around 11 o'clock it's going to drop to 4 degrees Celsius and that is where the difficulty comes in because potatoes don't do very well below 4 degrees Celsius. So. Normally, I come out in the morning and get this cover off so the potato peels have access to some sunlight to stimulate their development. But once the temperature drops, which it always does at night time, this time of year, I cover them up with this blue canvas which gives them enough protection from the lower temperatures at night. But today, it seems that the temperature will drop to 4 degrees Celsius during the day. So that means if I get this cover off now, I will have to keep a very watchful eye during the day on both the weather and the temperature, as the forecast even predicts hail and snow. Now, why am I so fussy about these potato peels, you might wonder. Well, I've already lost a full batch just like this in February. And since we eat potatoes almost every day, I do have a constant supply of new potato peels to put into the soil. But these ones are a bit special because they have kind of a head start. You see, they already sprouted inside the bag, so while you don't need peels with sprouts on them to do this kind of potato planting, it is nice when you can take a peel which already has a sprout on there because it basically gives them a head start. So if all goes well with this batch, we could be eating new potatoes as soon as June. So that's why I am so fussy about these potatoes and I really would like to see them thrive and grow into big and strong potato plants.
So, I am first going to take the peas out. I know they are frost hardy, especially when you're dealing with such a mild frost, but they are in the neighborhood, so it's just a small effort for me to cover them up together with the potatoes at night. And yes, I know this isn't the perfect cover for this type of situation, but it is what I have on hand right now, so in that sense, it is perfect for me. Now, you can obviously also work with jars where you cut out the bottom and place them upside down over the pots. Or you could even place some bigger pots upside down over the pots that contain the potato peels, but... First, I don't have that many jars with the bottom cut out, nor do I have that many pots to spare. And in both of these instances, it would take me a lot more time and effort to cover up each and every single one of these potato plants. So this blue cover is the fastest and most easy option for me. And since it's Easter Monday, I have the luxury today to keep a close eye on the temperature and go out and put the cover on when needed. Well, it's almost 5 o'clock right now and I am going to put the cover on not only to protect the potato peels from the temperature which will drop very fast now as we are heading into the evening and the sun is slowly going down but I suspect we are going to get some snow or hail very very soon. <laughs> 